people, and I am here to talk about a one John D. Filippo, or Filippo. We will figure out the correct pronunciation of his name eventually, especially, and again, this man. But as we all know, he is the quarterback coach of the, of the Philadelphia Eagles, and it appears Minnesota is waiting to get a chance at him as the Super Bowl is tomorrow, and obviously they haven't named an offensive coordinator yet. So I imagine this is the one guy who everyone's kind of looking at like, oh, this is obviously the dude. But will they actually get him, though? And that's kind of more of what I want to talk about here, which is I do think it's more 50-50. And I know he's a hot commodity, and the fact that they potentially could get him like should kind of get people excited because he's he bring in like the spread style kind of of offense where it's kind of West Coast like a lot of what the Philly offense runs and you'll see a lot of the anticipation throws for whomever that may be in terms of the quarterback in 2018 in Minnesota and obviously he's going to get credit for developing Carson Wentz and rightfully so as the quarterback coach but does it make an actual logical point to move away from Literally everything Shermer had, just chuck it into the river and say, oh, no, time to start over from scratch. Or do you stick with the in-house option in Kevin Stefanski, who may have a chance to kind of salvage some of that chemistry and some of that offense and just kind of add his own little flavors and flares to it, essentially, and just promote Kevin Stefanski, who has been our quarterback coach this past year and has been with us for 12 years. He's seen... Coach and coach and coach again. He might be able to take from more than just those guys. So, um, considering Shermer took from a plethora of guys, it could actually end up working. And you'd have a very dynamic offense, especially with getting Dalvin Cook back. And hopefully he would be able to choose his quarterback. Or if they're just talking about pretty much having a quarterback in there. So, it kind of gets to a point of where... like. Do you want to try to keep that chemistry, or do you want to go into a, to a totally different direction? I honestly think they should lean towards keeping it in-house and try to keep this chemistry going, because to me, it kind of feels more like it doesn't make too much sense. You finally had an offense that works. Try to keep it going, just, even though it's you don't have the greatest chance to. I know, because obviously he's not Shermer. Shermer's a giant. But also, if you don't promote Stefanski, we like Stefanski enough. Would you rather lose Stefanski to the Giants, potentially, for the Giants offensive coordinator job, or just promote Stefanski? And now, instead of replacing two positions, we only really have to replace one. So, to me, it's you still go in-house, and I don't know if this would be more efficient or the same level of efficiency out of the, the offense. <laughs> Because, obviously, none of these two guys have called plays before, but I feel like that's both great and bad at the same time. Because it's bad that we haven't seen them call plays, and we don't know how they would call plays in certain situations and all these other things. But it also, since they haven't, it means we don't know they suck. <laughs> they could be great at this entire thing. We just don't know it yet. And at that point... Eh, I, no, I just think your best chance is actually sticking with Stefanski, and there's no reason to actually leave from Stefanski, and just keep it going, try to keep it going, I, I'm gonna have a quarterback video coming up shortly, because I know this is gonna be a shorter video, as there wasn't multiple people to talk about, but until next time, I bid you adieu.